Now, the girls I'm about to speak to are an integral part of the Aegon Championships, the wonderful ball girls, Greta, Simona, Zoe and Holly. A lot of training goes into this, Greta, doesn't it? It does. We train from September and we train every week on a Friday and then closer to the Championships we do Saturday practices, which are three hours, so it's full on. Simona, how tough is the training? Um, it's, it's, it's not tough, it's kind of exciting as well, but obviously you have to kind of take it seriously at the same time because it's a selection process, so um, you need to work your hardest every single week in order to make sure you get to the Queens. Greta, you're an experienced campaigner. How many years have you been here? I've been doing Queens for three years, so I did it in year eight and nine and ten, but every year I come back, it's always a different experience, but it's every time as good and it gets better. How much fun are you having this week? Oh, so much. It's a great experience. And then when you're on court, you sort of forget about the crowds and everything. And you just concentrate on doing your job. Is it, is it particularly nerve-wracking? I'd be really nervous if I was a ball girl. Yes. Um, it's the scariest thing you know some of us have ever done, especially looking up on centre court on a packed day and you can just see so many faces. But the ball girling itself just yeah, takes into be. control and you get down and you focus. You've been working really hard to get here. You've had so many instructions over the year. And um, you were telling me some of the, the terminology beforehand. Can you give me an instruction that you've learnt over the past few years and what it means? So for a net, I'm a net. We have to run with purpose and don't be a meerkat. Because that's the worst thing you can do on court. You've got to look like you know what you're doing. Run with purpose and don't be a meerkat. OK, the next one. Um, feed the player first. So I'm a base, which is the people that stand at the back of the court. And basically, even though balls are coming towards you, you still have to feed them first before. I'm learning so much. The next one. The score is odd, the balls stay in the pod. The, the score is odd, the balls stay in the pod. OK, what does that mean? So it means that if the score of the two players, if the total is odd, then the balls stay at the same end as they were before, so that the players will change ends, therefore a new player will be serving. Got you. OK, and last one. Um, it's kind of the opposite. If the score is even, the balls are leaving. So if the balls are leaving, the players aren't swapping because it's even. And then that means that the balls change ends so the players aren't swapping and a new player serves. Thank you so much. I think there's hope of me being a ball girl one day. You're doing a simply fantastic job. And girls, I think it's time for new balls, please.